KCTV 5 is your school authority. The Olathe School District is trying to get students and staff back into the classroom safely. The district took a pause today and will do so again tomorrow by canceling classes as hundreds of staff and students tested positive for COVID last week. KCTV 5's Carolina Cruz looked into the district's testing efforts to prevent more infection and more closures in their schools. Carolina? Well, Brad, just over the weekend, the district actually had 70 more teachers test positive for COVID. That's on top of the 800 staff members they already had out sick last week. The Olathe School District is hoping to offer families some relief. This school year, the district has been offering COVID testing to students and staff through Moth Pathology. Right now, many district families are relying on that as they struggle to find tests. And we've been lucky, you know, where the rest of the world is running out of tests, we've been able to procure them and at least take care of our people that way. Before winter break, the district hit a peak in tests administered in one week with 700. Last week, they surpassed that with more than 3,000 tests in a single week. We can't even provide enough appointments to get it all done. There's, you know, more, more requests than we even have the ability to provide tests. I wasn't really surprised, to be honest. I know so many people that have had COVID or have it currently. Alyssa Cheney and her family just moved into the district this semester. Her seven-year-old is now at Sunnyside Elementary. He actually did not get to meet his uh, first grade teacher. He had a substitute teacher because his teacher was out sick. Alyssa tested positive for COVID last Thursday, so her family is now quarantining. They considered opting into the test to stay option, but are erring on the side of caution to ensure they don't spread infection to others. With me not being able to isolate away from him, he's going to have to go five days after the last day I had symptoms. The Olathe School District is reporting a 30.78% positivity rate at its test site. As a school district, we can't control it or monitor it. There's just too much of it happening. Um, so really, it's incumbent upon our whole community to, to do the right thing when, when people are sick. And, and that really is to keep people at home and, and you know keep them safe from spreading the, the disease to others. That's really how we're going to get through this. And that will take all of us as a community working together. I asked the district if they think that come Thursday they will be able to return to the classroom. The district responded saying, quote, the district continues to monitor numbers and will share any updates with the community as they are available. If no updates are shared, families should assume school is on as scheduled for Thursday. And the superintendent stressed to me that if there is a student, if there are teachers or staff members that are feeling sick or under the weather, they should stay home and go ahead and test. Reporting in Olathe, I'm Carolina Cruz, KCTV 5 News. Yeah, many wondering if two days is going to do it.